Hi, C loves. I am Simply Jordan and welcome to this video. First things first, it is officially February. Happy Black History Month to all my beautiful Black kings, queens, prince and princesses. Celebrate yourself today. Celebrate yourself this month. Celebrate yourself the rest of this year for the rest of your life. What you bring to the table, to this world, to this country, to your city, to your room. Celebrate yourself because you are worth celebrating. We are magic. We are beautiful. We are perfect. We are needed. We are necessary. We matter. Had to get that out of the way because I love being a Black woman. I love being a Black person. I love being from a Black family. I just love everything about it. So shout out to us. I'm excited. But today's video is about the new Morphe foundation. I got it from Ulta. I got my bag right here. This is called the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. And it did come with a free foundation brush. I am so excited about this foundation. First of all, the promo for this, Makeup Shayla looks breathtaking, her being the face of this new launch, and Danessa Myricks doing her makeup and being a part of this whole new launch. It is so gorgeous. Like, if you haven't been on the Morphe page or if you don't follow Shayla, do both of those things. Go see these pictures and go follow them. Like, it's really great. Follow Danessa, follow Shayla, follow Morphe. They're all really great. So when I saw, cause I do work at Ulta, I'm a Ulta associate. So when I saw they were getting this and I saw my color, I made sure that I snagged it so I can definitely get it because I love them and I can show you guys. So I'm coming to you straight at the gate, bare face, only with my brows on because we are going to do a full swatch well not really a swatch we're just going to do a review of it i'm going to put it on put it on for you guys we're going to do a slight word test it is a little late in the afternoons about 4 30 california time and i do have somewhere to be tonight so i'll get a pretty good wear out of it but we're going to see how it tests out but that's pretty much it we're just going to get right into it i have my brush i have my foundation we're just going to go straight into it all right, here we go. So this is the, again, the Filter Effect Soft, Soft Focus Foundation. Here is the box. I got the shade Rich 28. Let's hope that works, of course. If it's not, we gonna make it work today. I am so, so excited about that. Let's get this box open. Here we are. We have a frosted bottle, black top. I love this packaging, it's really pretty. We got a pump, we love foundation with the pump. That makes me really happy. And then of course, like I said, it did come with a free foundation brush. This is the E63 Morphe brush, a brush I haven't tried for them, but I love these kind of like angled brushes because I feel like you can really blend it into your skin. But we're just gonna get it going. I'm first gonna prime my skin. I have the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm gonna open it up now and prime my face. And now I'm taking a Morphe M406. It's like a stippling brush. I'm just gonna spread this primer everywhere. I already have my face moisturized and toner and all that good stuff. I'm just gonna put this on all over. I love this brush for putting primer on. It just does a light layer of it, but really spreads everything around. It makes me really happy. All right. And now for the star of the show. I'm gonna do, let's start with like two pumps. So this is what about two pumps look like. I got a big face, so I'll wear a lot of foundation. That's about two pumps so far. I'm really liking the color. I have like a yellowish neutral undertone. I'm not super pure gold yellow undertone. I have a slight neutral. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this Ulta brush. It's an Ulta flat concealer brush. And I'm going to use that to put the foundation on. We're 
you're gonna see. I really like this color, it's pretty. Okay, so here we go. First swatch of the foundation on my face. I like that. So you at least start around the perimeter. Ooh, I got a feeling I'm gonna really like this. I don't know if it's, so that's two pumps. It doesn't put out a lot in each pump, but I feel like once I blend that out, it's gonna be really good. I wanna add another pump, another full pump. I'm gonna put that in the center and pretty much just the rest of my face. I don't know if it's the fact that, I, I mean, I bought it yesterday and it's been in my room or if that's just how it is because of how it's formulated. It's kind of cool, not like a cooling sensation, but the foundation is kind of cold, but not like freezing cold. I don't know, it just feels nice. So I'm just gonna put that everywhere. I'm gonna start here and see how this blends out. So I got a couple stripes on my face. So far I like it. So now I'm gonna take the E63 foundation brush. It's pretty dense. Not super, super tight because I can move the bristles around. It's really soft. I do, like I said, I do like this kind of slanted brush form because I feel like you can really buff the foundation in, but we're gonna try it. Here we go, people. All right, so it is said to be a medium to full coverage. I definitely see that. As I'm blending it out, it does spread pretty nicely. Color-wise, at least this color for me is a slight bit on the warmer side, but I'm not mad at it because it's fixable. This actually reminds me of the NARS Natural Radiant and the uh, Makeup Forever HD one. Yeah. That's what this formula and kind of coverage reminds me of. I actually just used that uh, Makeup Forever foundation in a recent video of mine. And if this is anything like that, which is it's starting to look like, I think I may have another foundation to wear for these summer, spring and summer months. So we gotta blend it over the majority of my face, just moving on to my forehead now. First reaction, color-wise, like I said, it is a bit on the warmer side, but it's a workable warm. I'm not super red. I do like it though. I like my foundations to run a little darker, like by a smidge, because I'd rather be a little warmer and then balance it out with my concealer than too light and pasty ghost looking in the face. So this is my first layer on and blend it. I'm not mad at it. I'm definitely not mad at it. I'm definitely gonna build it up some more though because y'all know me, I am a full coverage type of gal. I don't wanna do it super, super full though. I do just wanna add a little more. So I do have some more from that last pump on my hand. I'm just gonna go straight into it with the brush now and just kinda Build that up over my cheeks. See, yeah, that second layer, especially once it dries, it is a hydrating formula. So it probably won't be completely matte, but that actually, that actually looks really nice. I'm gonna put the rest of this on and then we're gonna come back for that concealer. And I wanted to do this in as much natural light as possible because I didn't want it to be super bright or, you know, filtered, of course, because it's called filter effect. So why add a filter on it? Um, yeah, I wanted to do this in as close to natural light as possible. It's still pretty light outside, but I do have my ring light on a low setting. So it's still bright so you can see me, but not washed out. So... With that given, I would say it's pretty true to color of what you're seeing on camera, what I'm looking at. But like I said, first of you is that it is a bit on the warmer side, this color. I might try it in one lighter or just see how it dries down and reacts to my colors of concealers and then figure it out from there. 
I love this brush though. I feel like it's really buffing that foundation into my skin. And I like how it's laying over the primer too. Because Morphe does have a primer, but from what, when I tested it, I don't know. I didn't really care for how it felt. So, and it's good to see how certain brands react to other brands. Like you don't want to just have to, oh, if I'm only use if I'm using a Morphe foundation, I have to use a Morphe primer. I have to use a Morphe setting spray. I have to use Morphe everything. It's good to see how, you know, brands interact with each other. So I'm pretty much taking that. I took what was ever left, which isn't much on my brush and just putting it over my eyes. Cause I don't think I'm gonna do like a full glam today. So this is, this is pretty much where we're gonna be for the foundation. I like it. And as it dries, it doesn't really oxidize, but it sets. I like this a lot. I like it. I love, definitely, definitely recommend, highly recommend this brush. It's really good. Y'all know my favorite Morphe brush is a 439, the big dense blending brush or buffing brush. That's like one of my favorite Morphe foundation brushes. But this one, this one is pretty good. All right, so that's the foundation. It's pretty much drying down the way it's gonna dry down. It is slightly glowing, but not super radiant. Or maybe it should be the other way around. Yeah, cause I'm not like glowy glowy, but I do have a slight radiance to my skin now. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so for my concealer, I'm gonna go with Morphe Concealer because I have them. I'm going to use, you know what? I'm gonna use 415, 4.15. This is their original uh, fluid. I think this is Fluidity Concealer. Yes, Fluidity Full Covers Concealer. And I'm using the shade 415. 4.15. Blend out. I'm gonna just pretty much do the rest of my face how I do it. And now to set, to set my concealer, I'm actually gonna go back to Morphe. This is the Banana Rich Bake and Set Loose Setting Powder. It's not a bright yellow like you see a lot of under eye setting powders are. It's a rich yellow. So I'm actually just gonna take a Real Techniques setting brush. It's like a fluffy, small, kind of pointed brush. And I'm just gonna set, I'm not gonna bake. I just wanna set this concealer. And I'm glad I'm using yellow because the concealer I use doesn't have as much yellow undertone or golden undertone as I would like it to. So I'm gonna use this to kind of brighten that up and bring a little bit more of that yellow back.
to set the rest of my face, I'm actually going to use the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. The name of the color is, is it Honeymoon. That's cute. So this is the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. I'm gonna use that to set the rest of my face. I'm not really doing eyeshadow tonight. So I'm gonna run a little bit of this powder over my eyes, just to kind of lock those in, since I did put foundation over my eyes. And that's pretty much it for my base. Well, of course, I'm gonna bronze up. I'm gonna add some highlight and all kind of stuff. I'm actually gonna do the rest of my face off camera. I'm gonna come back with the finished look and we're gonna have a little chat. So I'll be back. All right, see love, so this is the finished look for today. On my lips is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip in Beso. This is one of my definite favorite red matte liquid lips across the board from really light, fair skin to really dark, deep. It's just really amazing. So this is on my lips. My highlight is Juvia's Place. This is the Royalty One Loose Highlighter. Uh, my blush is from the Warrior Two Palette from Juvia's Place in Zama. But of course, the main focus for today was this foundation and this brush. Again, this is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I got the shade Rich 28, and this is the E63 brush, these two together. So how I feel about it is very positive. I love the finish of it. I love the feel of it. Um, it doesn't feel really heavy. Of course, it is a medium to full coverage. Um, it seems to work really well with my other powders that I used. Um, I didn't see it really moving. I love how it built up. It didn't, you know, get really cakey because even though you can layer some foundations, sometimes they don't. I don't know. Sometimes some foundations, even when you layer it on top of itself, it can just do too much. And that could be what you're applying it with. But for me, overall, I really, really love this foundation. I definitely will be having this in my rotation for spring and summer. The brush, again, is another highly recommend. Really dense, really soft. Again, I love the angle brush because I feel like you can really buff the foundation into your skin. Um... And it's a pretty natural finish. To set my face, I use the Morphe Continuous Mist, another really favorite of mine that I use on myself and on my clients when I do freelance makeup. Um, I'm gonna do a wear test of this. Right now it is about 5.40. Um, I have to get dressed because I have to go sing somewhere this evening with some friends of mine. I'm really excited about that. And I may check in later, you know, while I'm there, uh, see how the makeup is holding up. I'll probably bring some powder with me just in case I need to touch up. But this is where we're at now. Of course, on my brows also is Morphe, their brow cream in Java. But so far with everything just finished, I really like what's happening. It's a really natural, really comfortable coverage. I really love the finish. Um, Yeah, so we'll see how this wears and I'll probably check in with you guys later. <sighs> Let me take my glasses off. <sighs> Hi, sweets. So, it is officially 11.39. And mama's tired. But this is where we're at. So, we started around 4.40ish when I first put on the foundation. Um, so that's what, about seven good hours of wear. And I would say, and this is no retouching, this is no extra powdering, no nothing. This is really just my face. <laughs> um, of course I get oily in my teen zone. So we have a little oil coming through around my nose, a little bit on my forehead. Um, of course I do wear glasses. So you see the imprint of my frames there around my nose but i would say this held up pretty well 
I do know for me, I wanna start color correcting a little bit around my mouth, but that's not something against the foundation. I think that's more just something I need to do as far as priming underneath the foundation, but I really like how this still looks. If I were to touch up, I'm gonna take my powder brush. Um, there's a little bit of powder on there still. And we're gonna tap around my nose. And a little bit on my forehead. And she's pretty much back like new. I like this foundation a lot, guys. Like, this is really good. If I had, if I had to give the foundation a score, like one through 10, for the category of medium to full coverage, hydrating, long wearing, because I would say seven hours is a pretty good wear, you know, to really test it out. Where I was was under some pretty bright lights because we were filming, so tested it under that. Um, I had on a mask and I ate. I think this did pretty well. I give it a solid, I give it a solid nine. I don't know what it'll be a perfect 10. I think really tens I reserve for full coverage foundation because that's my preference. I like full coverage foundations, but for what it's advertised as and how I wore it, how it feels, this did really well and I like it. I still feel like me, it looks like skin. I don't know, I like it. So this is where we're at. So let me know what you guys think. When you get your hands on it, let me know what shade you get. Let me know, you know, how you wore it, how you feel about it. And let's just start a discussion. Let me know how you feel about the foundation or if you plan on getting it, if you don't wanna get it. You know, what's your coverage preference? What kind of foundation do you like? Let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, of course, so, you know, more. Because it's new, You the more reviews, the more people can hear about it and hopefully come to their own decision. So share this video, like it, subscribe to me, comment, talk to me. I promise I'll talk back. And yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon.